Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Malaysian Ministry of Defense has taken significant strides to enhance its operational capabilities in Lebanon by acquiring 20 Panthera 4x4 armored vehicles. Valued at RM190 million, these state-of-the-art vehicles, procured from Turkish manufacturer Neural Makina, represent a substantial upgrade over the older Condor models previously utilized by Malaysian peacekeepers. This transition underscores Malaysia's commitment to modernizing its equipment and ensuring the effectiveness of its peacekeeping missions abroad, particularly within the framework of the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, UNIFIL. The deployment of the Panther of 4x4, also known as Ejder Yalchin, marks a significant milestone for the Malaysian battalion, Malbat, serving with UNIFIL. These new vehicles offer advanced capabilities and improved performance, enabling Malaysian peacekeepers to carry out their duties more effectively in the challenging terrain of southern Lebanon. The announcement of the acquisition was made by the Malaysian Armed Forces Joint Forces Headquarters via social media, indicating that Malbat has already begun deploying the new vehicles. This development coincided with a visit to Camp Maraka in Lebanon by Major General Dato H.J. Fazal bin H.J. Abdul Rahman, Chief of Staff of the Joint Forces Headquarters. During his visit, Major General Rahman reviewed the final acceptance tests of the vehicles and observed an adaptation course for the peacekeepers, highlighting the meticulous planning and preparation involved in integrating the Panthera vehicles into operational service. Established in 1978, UNIFIL plays a crucial role in maintaining peace and security in southern Lebanon. With around 10,000 military personnel from various contributing countries, UNIFIL works to oversee the withdrawal of Israeli forces, support the Lebanese government, and facilitate humanitarian assistance in the region. Malaysian peacekeepers form a significant part of UNIFIL, with over 800 soldiers deployed in the area. These troops are actively engaged in peacekeeping operations, contributing to the maintenance of a ceasefire between Lebanon and Israel and providing support to local communities affected by conflict. Defense Minister Dadak Seri Mohamed Khaled Nordin had previously informed the Parliament of Malaysia that the deployment of the Panthera vehicles was scheduled for April 2024, following successful final acceptance tests conducted in early March. This timeline reflects Malaysia's commitment to ensuring the timely and effective implementation of its defense acquisitions, in line with its strategic objectives and international obligations. The Panthera vehicles, first introduced in Malaysia in 2018, have undergone rigorous testing and evaluation against various competitors. A final configuration review acceptance was signed at the DSA 2022 exhibition between Neural Makina and the local company Naughty Corp, further affirming the suitability of these vehicles for Malaysian defense requirements. Weighing between 12 to 14 tons and capable of carrying a payload of up to 4 tons, the Panthera vehicles are designed to transport up to 11 fully armed soldiers, providing flexibility and mobility in peacekeeping operations. Powered by a 300-horsepower engine, the Panthera can achieve speeds of up to 110 km per hour and has an operational range of 600 km, enabling rapid response and maneuverability in various terrains. Furthermore, these vehicles can be equipped with heavy machine guns and automatic grenade launchers, enhancing their firepower and versatility in challenging environments. In conclusion, Malaysia's acquisition of the Panthera armored vehicles represents a significant investment in enhancing its peacekeeping capabilities and fulfilling its commitments to international security efforts. By deploying these modern and versatile vehicles, Malaysia reaffirms its role as a proactive contributor to global peace and stability, particularly in conflict-affected regions such as southern Lebanon. That's all for now, see you later.